gentlemen today we're going to be pruning my privet hedge as you can see I shaped this a few years ago just to give it, make it look a little bit unusual and also to let some light through to the plants and the perennial cottage garden border this one I pruned probably four weeks ago as you can see it's got a couple of inches of growth so we'll be taking that down to get the shape back, just tidy it up a little bit. So I'll take down the hedge where I live. As you can see, all the way down here, it's taking a few inches off until we get to here. I've deliberately left this so I can show you how to cut it back and how to get a nice shape. First of all, let's have a look at the tools we'll need. I've got this hedge trimmer the shears and there's little pruners little secateurs all have been sharpened ready for the job so I'll just set up and then we'll get going first of all what we're looking for is you don't want to be cutting your hedge so it's coming out of the top it either wants to be straight down to the bottom or from the bottom coming inwards so all the hedge gets light so that's what I'm aiming to do today just to tidy it up just to make it look a little bit better right I'm going to put it on there I think it's time lapse hopefully that will get it show you how I cut it and not take up too much time right we'll get started The edge of the front's been fully trimmed. All I do now is leave it a few hours, let it settle, and come out with my secretaries and my shears and just trim up any of the bits down at the bottom here. I like to leave a gap, let the air circulate so you don't get any rot. And it looks a lot tidier. So that's it. I'll leave it a few hours now. We have a cup of tea and a sandwich, come out, and then tidy just any of the bits up that need tidying up. So any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like. Thanks, bye.